Think about the men in your life that you look at and, and you think, that's the kind of man I want to be. Might be an uncle, might be a grandfather. You know, I, I was lucky. I had a really good grandfather. Never told me he loved me, but I know he did because he took me everywhere he went after my dad left. But you look at the men in your life that you go, that's the kind of man I want to be. And I, I will be willing to bet you every single one of them was not a self-focused person. I bet every single one of them was others focused. They didn't think about what they wanted. They thought about what other people needed. I grew up in Hapeville down by the airport. I was really lucky. That was the only Chick-fil-A in the world for decades. <laughs> um, had no idea it would become the phenomenon it was. But I was lucky to grow up around Truett Cathy who started Chick-fil-A. And Truett was one of the wisest men I ever met. And he used to ask me when I was a little kid, he would look at me and he'd go, he go, Jeff, you know how to tell when somebody needs encouragement? I'd say, no, sir. He goes, if they're breathing. He goes, everybody needs encouragement. It doesn't cost you anything to give it to them. No schooling, no money. And so I learned at an early age, be an encourager. If you walk into a place and the homely little girl running the cash register there go, oh, I love your hair. That's so pretty. Doesn't cost you a thing. Made her day. Made her day that somebody saw her, that somebody noticed. And so my whole life, I just, I'm like, crap, Mr. Kathy, that's a great thing. And what it does is it teaches you to see the good in things instead of the bad in things. You know, I, being a mental guy, when I get up in the morning, I pray two things to God. I'm like, hey, let me put on the slippers of gratitude. Let me not take for granted that I have something to eat, that I got a house, that I got a bed, that I got a car. 5% of the people in the world own a car. If you own a car, you're in the top 5% of the world. Something like 11 billion people will never take a hot shower one day in their life. If you took a hot shower today, you, you beat those 11 billion people. And so you start looking at those blessings. You know, you start looking at a holly bush and go, why the holly bush had red berries? And God goes, I just did it because I thought you'd like it. They look real good against the green. Did that for you. And you start seeing blessings everywhere. That's what being an encourager does. You start seeing the good all around you and just realize just how lucky we are. We had no control over where we were going to be born. We had no control over what the color of our skin was going to be. We had no control over who our parents were going to be. But the fact that we live in this country and we're able to go out tonight and, and assemble and actually talk about the Creator, there's so many places in the world you can't do that. So we're, we're blessed. We're really blessed.